Good evening, everybody. So let us start our uh, lecture tonight and let us see our schedule phase, okay? So first of all, if you go to our schedule phase and you will see that uh, Okay, next week your test one, right? Next week? Yes. Next week? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, so your test will be 130th. 130th, right? This is Thursday? 30th is Thursday? Yes. Thursday, okay? Okay, sorry, uh, our projector on the uh, right side, your right side, is not working. So please uh, follow one side. So yeah, 138, that will be uh, Thursday, your test will be here. And you know that if you take all tests, then your minimum test score, test 1 and test 2 and test 3 between this, among this, will be replaced by your final if your final is greater than your minimum this three right if we take the test yeah, if you take the test okay so then the syllabus it should have now in the syllabus okay the only one test you miss two tests, then only one will be covered by the final, another one will be zero. Right. If you miss three tests, only one will be covered by final and two will be zero. Right. But okay. I, yeah, because I thought. Okay, then another advantage is somewhere it should be have. It, if we do not have this, then we have decided this. Then this is an advantage for you who take that test, who take all tests. Okay, if you take all tests, then your minimum test score will be replaced by your final. If you take all test, yeah. test one, test two, and test three. So they change it the semester. Yes, from this oh. semester. Oh, okay. Maybe you are referring to last semester. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. This semester we change it. Okay, but just remember that if you if you miss one test, that will be fine covered your, by your final. But if you miss two or more tests, then only one will be covered. Okay, remember that your test will be on 138. So next, not this Thursday, next Thursday, here exactly same time. So we will start our test and say exact same time. So please come early, okay? Do not late. And on D2L, I already passed your study guide for test one. How many of you have seen? Okay, that. That is, is visual. Okay, please follow this as a study guide. And let us see our. So, everybody understand that, right? Your test will be on 30th, January 30th. How long do we have to take the test? Huh? How, how long do we have to take the test? 50 minutes, maybe at least 50 minutes. Oh, 50. 50 minutes. Okay, so let us go to our schedule phase. So, can anybody remember how far we went in uh, last? We only finished part one. Part one, okay, we have part two, right? So, for example.
Okay. In part one, we discuss uh, what is the first one? Data types. Okay. That anyone here does not have a Replit account yet. Replete, R E P L dot I T. Anyone here does not have an account yet? You don't have an account? Well, please create an account right now. Okay, it's free, completely free, and then we will use it to test our live programs. Okay, so in our last lecture, data types in our last lecture we s we maybe saw this which one is better <laughs> that was not working so you please help us I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry, thank you. Mm -hmm. So in our uh, last lecture, we data we discussed data types. So data types are about already is same for all languages, C, C sharp and Java. So we know know that there are primitive data types. There are eight primitive data types: boolean, character, byte, short, int, long, float, and double. Okay. And if you follow this chart, it's the nice chart. And we discuss Boolean type for true and false value. And character, it contains only one character. Sometime, so a string is contained, a string contains a group of characters. In C language, specifically in C language, does not have a string type. So in C language, we discuss, um, we create a string as a character array. So later we will discuss about array, then maybe you will be clear. So, so far we discuss integer type. There are four siblings of integer type, byte, short, int, long, float, and double, right? So at that last, in our last lecture we discussed how many bytes uh, um, a byte type contain? One byte, right? And what is the range of this data? Data range? If you declare a variable as byte, what is the maximum value we can hold? Yes, and minimum value? Negative yes. Okay, and for a short type? Two bytes. Okay, two bytes. So, so there is a good way so in most programming languages like Java, if you code like this. Okay, if you print out, for instance, for my byte type, so byte B is in. Uh, uppercase by that is called actually it's a wrapper class you will not may you may not understand wrapper class right now so this is a built-in class actually so for integer i is an uppercase and whole integer and byte b is in uppercase byte so if you say by dot mean value mean underscore value all in uppercase and by dot max value like integer dot mean value and integer dot max value if you do like this way and if you run your program then it will tell us what is the maximum minimum value for byte type negative 128 right and maximum value 127 for integer type minimum value is this and maximum value is this by uh, yes you can do this for short and long uh, ultimately, sometimes you will remember this. You don't need to exactly remember this, but you see the difference between byte type and integer type. Very different, right? If you have a value like 128, you cannot store that value in a byte type variable, right? It will be overflowed. Okay? So, for instance, I have a cup. If I want to take one liter like uh, coffee, will it hold? 
No, it cannot hold one liter, right? It maybe can hold 200, 200 milliliter, and then remaining one, remaining amount will be overflowed, right? So that I will not have exact value for. So this way, this is a good way, but ultimately you will be familiar with this chart. And you see that for a long time, it's very large number, right? It's a very, very small number for negative and very, very large number for the positive side. And you see for the fluid type, this is exponential format and the double type, this is also exponential, but very, very large number and very small number. For instance, if you want to hold weight uh, of an atom, not an atom bomb, okay, weight an, of an atom or electron or proton in kilogram. If someone asks you how many kilogram an electron weighs, right? So that is, it, it has some weight. So we can, in order to hold that value, we can, we should use maybe double type. Maybe double type, I don't know if flow type will cover that. Or if we want to measure how many miles or how many centimeters or millimeters uh, uh, a light ray passes in 10 light years. Very, very long distance, right? In order to hold that value, what type of uh, variable we need to declare? Long. Yes. Okay, that's what we discussed in our last week's lecture. And today we will go more with our data type and expression. So why, first of all, why do we use data, a variable, in order to hold data, right? Okay. So, and then later we use variable with constant and some symbols like operators, plus, minus, division, equal signs. These are the symbols that we use together in order to write an expression, okay? Sometimes we express something is using our human language or sometimes sign language, right? Or sometimes other languages, but in computer language we will use uh, like expression in order to express our statement of command. Okay. So there are some operators plus operator plus sign minus sign plus operator minus multiplication division and this is the only one division operator that uh, this sign maybe you are not familiar with this one, you should be familiar with all others, right? And this one is used to find, it's called modulo operator, to find remainder, okay? For instance, if we say 10 modulo uh, 3 equal to, what is the remainder? 10 modulo 3, if you divide 10 integer modulo, okay? by three, one, okay, let me make it one, right? If I say 10 modulo four equal to, equal to two, right? If you say 10 modulo nine, then what? One, okay, that's good. So the result depends on this, this first operator and second order, okay? And if I say, okay, two modulo four equal to what? Zero. Yes, it will be two. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. No. I'm, I'm finding remainder, yeah. remainder, okay, so I'm not finding the result, of if I ask you what is the result if you divide 10 by 3, right? It's actually 3.333 something, right? Actual result, 
But I'm asking to create remainder. Sometimes we need to find remainder. Okay, so how do we know that a 10, the number 10, is an even or an odd number? Uh, 10 is an even or odd? 10 is even. Okay, how do we know that it's an even? No, yes, there is a logic behind that basic math. We need to retrieve that. What is the logic behind that ma basic is math? Is okay. Yes, even number are equally divisible by, what it say, evenly divisible by 2, right? Right. Okay. Yes. yes. It does not go any times. So if you say 10 modulus 4, it goes two times. Yeah, 4 goes in 10. And that yes. Two times. OK, then I can write this way. So I can write this way. 0 times 4 plus 2, right? This one equal to? Right? Yes. So the, I need only this part. I need only this part. Okay, so here actually this one, you said two times four plus two, right? So I need only this part. Yes, we need only remainder. So everybody understands? Yes. Okay, that's good. Three module nine. Yeah, tell me someone, please. Three module nine equal to no. No. Why is five? So it's equal to zero zero times nine plus what? Three. I need remainder. Everybody understands? Yeah. So you're saying the, the number on the right, how many times that can go from the number on the left to the modulus, right? Okay, uh, I'm not saying. Okay, let us let us check it. Let us do a replete program quickly. Okay, so module operator. Operation example one. So I want to print what? Uh -uh. Two says modulus. You said four, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Two, right? Okay. If I say do a ten modulus five. Ten modulus five. It will be zero. will be zero. Second one is zero, right? If I say six modulus four. Huh? Yes, it will be two. All right, so what about five modulus ten? Okay, please do practice something. Go home and do some practice. <laughs> I have a lot of things. <laughs> no, 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 please. Please do it, okay? I have a lot of things to do tonight. Okay, your computer is dead. <laughs> Okay, so so we, we discuss this. Okay, so actually this is the integer division. Okay, so if we say, okay, give attention, everybody, please give attention. We have two kinds of division. Whenever we say integer division, okay, for instance, whenever we say integer division, then then ten divided by three equal to three, not three point three three three. Okay, integer division is, is means that you need to get the integer result. Okay, so 25 divided by 3, okay, so then it is 8, not 8 point something. You understand? Okay, and then 3 divided by 25 is something, right? Point something, right? But for integer division, it is 0. Everybody understand? 
in your test or quiz or somewhere if you get this kind of tricky question do not be confused okay okay then 3 module 25 equal to 3 right and 25 module 3 equal to 1 okay everybody understand this okay 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 so I want to highlight this one okay floating point division if we say 25 Point zero divided by five equal to five point zero. Okay, or if you say say ten divided by three when you are doing floating point, that means if your for instance this is a floating type variable, then it is three point three three. In some problems, you may have written a little bit word that is integer division. Find the integer division, find the floating point division. Okay? Don't be confused. Okay? And another important thing that, so we use the plus operator. Usually, we know that plus operator, usually, if you have a little baby at home, or if you know someone, if you ask someone, what is one plus one? That's a tough one. Okay? Okay, so then if he's a, he is a talent or she is a talent one, then he will ask maybe then which one, or any one or number one. Okay. Can you please give me one second? My mom is calling. Maybe come. No. Okay, so. Okay, so if you are asked, what is one plus one? What is it to be asked? Okay, is always two? Yes, pretty much. Okay, so why are you going to okay. say eleven? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I just say one zero. Ooh, nice. This is binary. Then we know that, right? One plus one equal to one zero. So it depends on it depends on the number system. The binary numbers, number system, 1 plus 1 equal to? So, how is binary equal to 1? Okay, so. So, it goes 1, then 1, 0, then 1, 1. Binary number system, there are only two digits, right? 0 and 1, right? So, then 0 plus 1 equal to? 1, right? 1 plus 0 equal to 1. Three. Then 1 plus 1 equal to? Usually in decimal number system, 2, right? But in binary number system, there is no digit that calls 2 like this. So we, we represent 2 by 1, 0. All right. So what if it's 1 plus 1 plus 1? Okay, that's good question. 1 plus 1 plus 1 in binary number system equal to 1, 1. Three. This means three. Yes. This is 1300 course. Yes, yes. So wait, for, so for this one plus one plus one, why would it be 100? Like, why would it be 11? Okay, so that is that is number system. So, okay, I think, okay, I, I think this, this course, while you are taking this course, you should have this idea. So our 1300 course, or if you took any computer science uh, course in uh, high school level, then you should have known this, actually number system. Number systems, if I say. Number system with different base. Okay. So Wikipedia, so this is the number system. We are familiar with decimal number system, right? So the base is 10. Binary number system has base 2. That means it has only two digits. Everything you say, we speak, we dance, or whatever we record, video, audio, everything internally is converted into 0 and 1. Okay, all electronic devices, including computer, your phone, understand binary number system. It does not understand anything except 0 and 1. Zero means an LED is off, and one means an LED is one. Okay? 
So this is why 3 when it is converted to binary number system is 1 1. Like 16 when you convert in binary number system it will be 1 0 0 0 0. Okay. Not 10,000. If you say 10,000 the word 1000 is in decimal system. Okay. And in, in, in hexadecimal system we will say 1 0. Okay, and yes, 15F, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay. In addition to this, there are other number system, like Roman number system, you are familiar with, right? Roman, Roman, X, X, L, M, right? So, we do not use this, but these are the common number system, actually, decimal, binary, uh, hexadecimal, octal, these are the number system we will use. So, if you are not familiar with, please uh, go to the Wikipedia or somewhere to study about number system. Okay, this one. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Okay. There is a. Is there anyone here that is a law or major? Law major law. Okay. Lawyer. I'm still a lawyer. Okay. There is an interview. Okay. Job interview for job. Okay. Same question was asked to different number of people. Okay. When a mathematician, a student, mathematics student came, they, they asked, the interview board asked, what is 2 plus 2? Two? 2 and 2, not plus, 2 and 2. 2 and 2. He said 4. Good, mathematician said 4. Okay. And there was a statistician, statistics student, and he said probably 4. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then there, next time there was a law student. He asked, he was asked, what is two and two? Then he replied, he replied how much do you need? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. When you understand, then smile or laugh. Yeah. Okay. So, <coughs> This plus operator, usually, usually we use this in order to add two numbers, right? But so far, maybe we are familiar with this. This plus operator is also used to add a string with another string. Okay, so maybe we are familiar with this. Hello. Hello plus space plus word. Do you have to have that extra space in there? Or do you no, I put the space over here. Yeah. So then, <coughs> okay, so it's your hello world, okay? So, and also on, 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 on thing that I want to remind you that whenever you is like, this is called string concatenation. Then the first one is string, then if it is concatenated with another number, then result will be, the entire result will be string. For instance, let me tell you something I'm, I'm coming with, okay. I don't need this. Okay, what is it? Can anyone please tell me? <coughs> yeah. You have a question? Uh, yeah, so I have a question. What was the question in theory was how do you guys actually build a number system? I'm, I'm asking to let me finish my okay. my question. This one is this one is my question, okay? Did okay, you understand this? So you said? 222. Two, 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 yes. Two, two, two. Huh? 222. Two, two. Okay. Like two and four. Anyone else? Okay, that is just a minute ago I told you that if the first one is a string, then the entire result will be a string. So then two, two, two. Two. 
two, two, two. It is not 222. OK? Right. So you're right it is not 222. That's C sharp. Yeah, all languages. That's not it's also Java, and it's also in Java. Yeah, but not C++. OK, so try with C++ and let us see. My computer's bad. OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, remember that? OK. Okay, then compare to this one. Compare to this one. What will be the result of this one? This is, yes, you are right. This is 4 to not 42. Yes. So the compiler just assumes whichever the first data type it gets in is uh, stick with that data type? And the, the thing is that I'm, I'm telling you, uh, so whenever it gets string, okay, so the, if the first one is a string, or after it gets a string, or for instance, 2, then plus 2. Let me do another thing. Okay. So this part will be 4, right? And then 2, right? And these are 2 and 2. 4, 2, 2, and 2. These are not adding as a numeric number. So whenever it gets a string, okay, the plus operator will make the remaining part as a string. You understand? Okay. <laughs> Sorry? But even if it's not a string and you just put two, 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 two without the quotation marks, it will be 222. If it's showing as this, if you want to do an arithmetic operation on this, it will not work. So for now, I'm not going that, that in depth. If you want to participate, the result is, whatever the result is showing here, here, so if we want to do another arithmetic operation, right, it will not work. So for you cannot do an arithmetic operation with a for a string. So these are the number, actually when you say hello world, it is showing as a hello world without the code, right? So if you say hello, for instance, if you say instead of hello world, if you say one, 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 then two, 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 then what will happen? Yes, one on one, two to two, but this is not a decimal number. It's a string. Like hello world is showing as a string, right? But if it is not showing as a with a double quote, this is why you are misleading. Yeah, but the user reads it that way. So if you want to do any arithmetic operation on this, it will not work. Try to do an arithmetic operation. Divided by zero. So if yeah, but Yes. So, read the rest of those as so this part will be this part will be four. But if you have, let's say you put a variable rather than same thing, the variable with will not variable will have value, right? It will put whatever value you do have. For okay. instance, you say int, if say int x equal to two, right? Mm -hmm. You are saying telling me this, right? Right. So if you say two plus x. Right, and then if you say x, you are telling me this? Yeah. Okay, let us see, it will be the same thing. It will be the same thing. 2 and this x equal to 2 is adding up, so as 4, and then as soon as is, is get this string, then this string will be added with 4, and the remaining part will be, will not be added. So you I are yeah. misleading, right? It will well, be. No, I just Okay, please do practice. I have a lot of things to do. So <laughs> okay, two things. Okay, so one thing that two things, two way we, I, can, I can teach you here. I have almost all of this video recorded in my last semester. If you give me a favor, if you watch some lecture videos from previous sections, then I can discuss whatever you have questions. 
or something new in, in a new activity, okay? And some new activities. Or uh, if you are not willing to, uh, to, to watch my previous section of video, or if you complain, okay, the professor asked me to watch his old garbage video, then I'm not going to spend time. This is a good activity, good discussion, right? right. This is a good discussion. I like to do that, but in my have, I have limited time. So let us see. Sometime I will ask you to watch some video from my previous section. Okay. So if you watch, then maybe we can discuss more things. Yeah, I was just saying, I didn't know if it was going to change the text into, yeah. a, into a string. Into so everybody does not know everything. That's good. <laughs> That's not wrong. You are here to learn, right? right. You are here to know. That's good. So please do some practice. Okay. Okay. This is the operator precedence, right? We discussed so in the old some of some old test. You will see that there was a question. It was asked to write the precedence of the operators. So, for instance, here, if you see the number one in yellow, that means if you have an expression like this, then this class will be executed first. This class operator will be executed first. Then this class. This is why it is two. Sequence is two, right? Precedence and which one will be executed first? This plus operator will be executed first. Then this plus, then this plus, then this plus. Okay. And for this one, which one will be executed first? Okay. The multiplication and division have same precedence, but in the order they come first. Okay. One time maybe I. Give you a task like this, right? What is this? Uh, 4 divided by 2 times 2 equal to what? It's not 1. 4 divided by 2, this one, don't be misled that this multiplication has the higher precedence. Okay, we should, okay, we should consider both precedence and associativity okay associativity this means here although you can say that multiplication has the highest precedence but it has associativity which order it comes from so this one 4 divided by 2 it will execute first 2 right then 2 times 2 equal to 4 so result is 4 not 1 Okay, so here if we have, if we have, we know the parenthesis, right? Then that is the highest precedence. And inner, if you have multiple parentheses, then inner parenthesis has the highest precedence, right? Okay, so this one will be executed first, then this one, okay, then this one, and you saw the module operator has the, here has the. lowest PS precedence here, right? Okay, so I like you to do some program. So write something, write a program like this and write an expression here and get the output and try to understand. For instance, yes, give me one second. So if I, I asked you to do, to do, if it's, I said 4 divided by 2 times 2, right? Okay, so what will be our result? I said 4 and someone said 1, right? Is 4. Yes. Can the order of operations be the same even if you overload the operators? Okay, that is a good question. So overloading is mainly, uh, we did not discuss overloading in this course. So it is a little bit over here, concatenation. So uh, I am not sure 100% in depth, but whatever I told you to remember that as soon as it will get a string, after that everything will be string, right? So before the string, whatever you have, it will do your regular mathematical arithmetic operation, okay? So as soon as it get, will, gets a string, that part then story 
10 slide okay so you understand the why the yolo yolo numbers what uh, do the yolo numbers mean did you understand okay that's good okay now we write an expression ex expression like in in algebra we write x equal to y or x equal to y plus 5 something right so this is the expression here the value uh, this is left side is variable and the right side is expression or it can be a simple expression or it can be a complex expression whatever value the right side has that will be executed first and that value will be assigned to this variable right so this equal sign over here although in plain english or mathematics we say equal right but in programming language this is assignment operator we assign the right side value to the left side variable okay so this is an expression right so the right side will be executed first in the order in in that permits and then the value resultant value will be assigned to answer okay so in mathematics we did not have these operators okay so these are called incremental operators actually operators are divided into two broader categories okay two categories like unary operators and binary operators unary operators have only one operand associated for instance negative 5 if we write negative x sometime we write negative x right so then, then this negative sign is unary minus then it takes only one operand on the right side right but if we say x minus is it meaningful it is not a meaningful it is not meaningful right if we say x minus it's not meaningful right but if we say x minus minus then it is meaningful two minuses so these are the called minus minus is called decrement operator and plus plus is called increment operator okay it is count plus plus is called count equal to count plus one it increments its operator by one and count minus minus it means count equal to count minus one Okay, I do not have, maybe I, I want to do an activity, maybe I don't have time today, maybe next, next class we can do it. So these are the operators we are familiar with, sometimes we use shortcut, we say a plus equal to 3, that means a equal to a plus 3. In, a, in programming, in a book or somewhere you will see a lot of, of this use, shortcut, okay then a minus equal in regular math you will not see this operator symbol okay but shortcut way we in programming we write and most languages for so, so what is this means a percentage equal to a modulo equal to 10 that means it is same thing i want to mean that a equal to a modulo 10 and this assignment operator is this one equal to a assign this is slash equal to 10 that means this is the division sign right result equal to result by give attention that how the right left hand operand comes over here result equal to result by whatever in the i have right side let me see and these are very simple and
in some languages it may be true but maybe some languages it may give an error so if we say plus 2 that means e equal to 2 right in general anything we say 2 means plus 2 but whenever we want to assign negative value then we want to put negative Okay, sometimes we can assign one variable value of one variable by another variable, it's permissible. And we will do in our program this a lot. Okay, one thing, one thing maybe. Okay, type casting. This is the thing, uh, sometime I will, I will uh, discuss this later or I will share a video with you, okay, from my previous video, okay. Type casting, I need at least 20 minutes to discuss this. And whenever we come, we come up with some situation for this typecasting, then I will discuss. For now, I am just skipping this. This is an important topic, okay? I need at least 20 minutes to discuss this. But for now, I am skipping this. Uh, okay, another thing that I am skipping for now, this one incremental operator or decremental operator. Incremental operator has has two notations is called this operator has two op notation prefix or postfix notations okay so let me see for the next slide if i can do it then i will be able to do it today so let us go to the part two. Oh, was that part two Oh, okay, that is part two, but according to our schedule, I was supposed to discuss, discuss today selection, right? Okay, okay, next class I will discuss selection, but let us do, do something. Okay, so people who are taking Java. Are you able to com convert this code in Java? Who are taking C++? Will be able to convert this program in C++? Okay, that's good. So here this hello world and this hello world will, as, will give us same result, right? Okay, everybody please ready, give attention, I will ask you some questions. Let me write in SIPS Java, it's okay. To, to Increasement example one Java. Maybe I have to have some. Okay, at this point, you should be familiar with something, but not everything is okay if you don't understand. But uh, I like everybody give attention. Please close all of your devices for the next 10 minutes, okay? Give attention to me, please. Okay, for instance, I have a variable int x equal to zero. And I have another variable y equal to zero. Okay, both variables are integer type, right? So I can type, I can declare only one type at the beginning and I can say x equal to zero, y equal to zero, that's good, okay? So if I want to print, print, I say x equal to plus x. Then I want to give some space. How can I give some space in between? By tab, right? 
it will get a on tab right i can do this way plus i can say y equal to i don't need to get y equal to plus y so it is very simple what will be our result output for this one now I want to say exact result, exact output for this one. Uh oh. Uh. Two, 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 two. What is that? Oh, I, I missed a plus sign over. Thank you. Okay, so it is giving x equal to 0, y equal to 0. I'm fine with this, right? Everybody see from the back? Yeah, please close your phone, okay? Close your device, everybody, please. Excuse me. Yeah, can you please close your device? Yes. Yeah, everybody, please close your device. Give me attention for the next 10 minutes, okay? You will learn something. Okay, instead of x, if I say... x plus plus, uh, maybe plus plus x. If I say plus plus x, remember that this plus is for string concatenation, okay? This plus is an operator. This is called increment operator, okay? Then what will be my result? It will be showing me, okay? Let us go step by step. It will be showing me x equal to 1, y equal to, you understand it will showing me x equal to 1, y equal to 0, right? Yeah, that's on anything after string, right? Say anything after a string. Give me one second, please. Sorry. Okay, then if I say y, you understand if I say x equal to plus plus x, okay? The plus plus x, that means it is the increment operator. It, we, it does, if I say x plus plus x, then what it will do, it means x equal to x plus 1. Okay, then, okay, give attention, you can say, and then, then if I say, here, y plus plus. Will it give same result? Zero. Give it, give, look at the difference, it said y plus plus, and if I say, plus plus x. This is called a prefix notation and this is called the postfix notation okay so you will see the difference of result it will have x equal to 1 y equal to zero, zero. the reason is that if this is all the same operator right plus plus incremental operator it has two versions two notation this is called prefix notation in prefix notation it will increment the value first and it will use the new value, okay? And in postfix notation, it will use the old value, and after using the old value, it will increment by one. So the incremented value will be used for next time. Do you understand? So in reverse order, now give attention please okay i wish i would have i would have some candies okay if you can do this then i would give you some candies sorry but you owe a candy so why is it when you add a plus plus it, it does so it? yeah this is the different notation i want i want to clear with the live program okay so everybody please give attention i want to get output of this 
So, what will be output? So, you know that I, we, we already have the output of this line, right? This is the output of this line, the line number 6. So, what it is doing? It is doing x equal to, it is incrementing the x value first and it is using displaying the incremented value. But for this one, it is displaying the old value and it is leaving the incremented value for next time use. So now my question is that what will be the output for this line? Okay, let us understand this, okay. So here after this after this statement, okay. Give attention please. Uh, we want to we want to know that after this statement, what is the values of this x? After this, at this point, at this point, my x will be what? One. My y will be one. Right? But although it displayed y equal to zero, right? No, it displays y equal to 0, it displays the old value, but after displaying, it incremented the i value. So, at this point, so here let us see what it will be printing. It will be printing x, x plus plus, it will be printing this old value, right? It will be printing 1, but here, what it will be printing here? y equal to, it will be incrementing y for with this value. So, here this line it will show me x equal to 1, y equal to 2. Okay, everybody please have a look and try to understand. And if you do not understand, please raise your hand. Why this become y equal to 2? Yes, you understand. Okay, that is the second question, we'll go there. So let us see that if you understand this line. You understand everybody? Yes. Okay, so the he has another something else. He is asking me if I copy this entire thing and print it here, right? So what will be printing here? <coughs> X equal to Y. X equal to two and Y equal to? One. One. And after that here, so at this point, let's see at this point what will be here, x equal to 2 and y equal to 2. So 2. And then he will be printing here, 2 and y equal to 3. Okay, thank you. So I did not do anything on C++, right? Yeah. This is your complaint? My question is, is, you said that everything after a string becomes a string. So how are... How yeah, please do some practice. It does not work. Please let me know. No, I'm asking a question. It will work. Same thing, same rule. No, I understand yes. that, but I'm asking a question that you're not addressing. No, no, no. My, my question is, you said everything after a string becomes a string. Yes. So you're putting an operator in there, and it's actually functioning as a mathematical so my question is this one this one this yes. one so my question is is why is that working if you were to put no, 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 no 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 this okay okay i just i i just That's display this value no 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 i just i'm just displaying this value i am not using any arithmetic operation here this is so the entire result will be a string the entire result will be a string okay since I gave enough space, so this you are you are good that it's not ambiguous, right? So, for instance, if I did not give this space or n x and y, then it will be ambiguous for you. Like for instance, it would be ambiguous for you. For instance, if I would give, uh, okay, um, if I would say this plus this, 
Your question is that right? Yeah. Or or something like yeah, like, all like, all like, like 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 this. Right. Your question is this, right? Yes. Okay. So it will be a string, but you cannot do any arithmetic operation on this. In, in my previous discussion, I told you that in, how is hello all displayed? Hello all is put within a double quote, right? But is this printing a double quote? No. It is not showing this double quote, right? So here, this 34 is not is actually a string. I can show you that why it is a string. So if it is not a string, okay, if it is not a string, if it is a string, then can I do this 32 divided by like this? Can I do this? No. Well, no, that's what I was asking. Okay. Yeah, because I was trying to ask that is how you were. Okay, this is a string. You see that I cannot, I cannot divide a string by any number, right? For instance, this is a. We were misleading that there's 34 showing that, right? Yeah, it's not 34, it's a 3, 4, it's a string. Yeah, it's just, I, I didn't know how you can increase a, if it creates it as a string, okay. still This is why I put, this is why I put some this string and then this one, okay? Okay, now everybody understand this? Why it is showing 2 and then why it is showing 3? Anyone has any question? Okay, how many minutes I do have? Ten minutes? That's good. Okay? So everybody please practice this. And, okay, my program is over here. Okay, okay, so then one more thing. Let us convert this quickly in, you know that we can do it quickly in, in C sharp, right? Okay, I'm, I'm doing this quickly in C++. Let me do in C++. CPP. What changes I need to do this in order to do this in C? So you see the how hello world is written? std dot c out right colon colon c out i usually write using name space std right then i don't need to put std colon colon okay so then this one will go this one will be replaced with this right okay then i don't need this one this part is fine and this one will be replaced by this and instead of plus I will have this and instead of this and this and I don't need this and I need this so one line is fine right let me see let me let me let me finish it and then I will answer your question. Let me convert this. Let me finish it, then I'll, I'll. So this is the conversion in C++ and it should give us same result. So then what is your question? No, we should be able to do, you actually should be able to, if you were to create another line. Okay, let, okay, let, okay, let me see, see. okay. E and D L, I need one more E and D L, E and D L. I need end line, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I need one more end line over here, E and D, L. Then I got same result. So now, what is your question? Please. So if you were to do the same thing, you can put C out and then put quote X equals and then you can put X plus Y and it would be able to give you a spot or actually it would give you six. 
So what, what, is, what are you asking? I didn't understand. Okay, C out, then what? X equal to X plus y. Only uh, I, I, I need this operator right. concatenation. Okay, X plus y. Plus y. <coughs> you said this. You said this. Yeah. Okay. Then what is my X value? Okay. Good thing. Why is why is why is six x equal to x plus y? Three. So that x became three. Okay, that's good. Now, now, what is your question? No, I was just saying is that c plus plus is different that you can actually do a string and then you'll be able to actually do it in the same function. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You do not understand. So, 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 what are you thinking that can I do? True, 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 true. Can I do like this? This. So if I shoot this, six, right? Yeah, just this. Okay, so this six is a string six, not a number six. I cannot divide this by by any number, by two. What do you mean? So are you taking C plus plus lab? Yeah. Yeah. Let me do it uh, one by one. Sometime cover and or I will. Well, if you replace I have, it by I have two, five, five by two. Here? Yeah, if you replace it by Okay, two. so it, you, you can divide it by two over here, but the entire result will be will be a string. It became three. It's three, okay, so it's hello world. Is How it is hello world showing, right? Hello world I put in double quote, right? right? But hello world is showing, hello world is showing as without double quote, right? right. So you're misleading, right? So here three is showing, showing. Okay, so let me show you. String, 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 string. Maybe you want to do this. You like me to do this. String s equal to s equal to. Do you want me to do this? Do you want me to do this? Do this, it will not work. The, this plus operator does not work in C. In Java, it would be a string. C, it needs this operator, this, this operator for concatenation, but it will not give me give me uh, this is this operator works with C out. In Java, I could I could write this. In Java and C sharp, I could write it. Let me show you. I know the string is you need to put that all in quotations, and then you would actually need to put hash So then, what what is this? For, so, but but for instance, if you say this, if you say this, it will not work. Okay. So maybe at the beginning, C string of is is a little bit different in C plus plus and uh, and Java and C sharp. Okay, so your question is, is related to string operation, but that is different in Java and C++, okay? Okay, in our next lecture, we will discuss uh, uh, selection statements, okay? Divide three modulus twenty five. Twenty five does not go with three, right? Right. So the remainder is three. Okay. Okay. So is that like okay? Thank you. So 
Send me an email. Okay. Who is cool to send me? one and two, right? Mm -hmm. Send me an email. That would be great. Thank you so much. They're close to each other. I understand. I heard that. Sir. How are you doing? I'm Nathan. I sent you the email okay. about the quiz. What does quiz two, quiz two do? It was due already this, this weekend. No, I sent you the email about I, I, I opened it. You did? Yeah. Okay. But take I, it tonight, by tonight. I didn't know if you did or not because I, I was trying. Say, look at check your email. Yeah, I was trying to explain to you that while I was taking it, I had a loss of. But you, you told me that today. quiz one. You emailed me quiz one, right? I said quiz one. Yeah. I meant, no, I meant quiz two. That was look, check your email. Okay. Check your email. Don't please be sure that when you send an email, mm -hmm. please make sure that whatever you are telling. Okay. Check. check open your email. What is? Sorry, what is, I showed what is, up ahead. Okay, no problem. Send me an email. All right. So, what would I? Have, what would I? Have, so, uh, uh, regarding um, the tardiness, or would I, would I actually get credit? Yes. Send me email right now. If you give me email right now, then you will get credit. Okay. <coughs>